everyone is really affected when there's a, a bullying event. And I think we've all learned from like Dear Evan Hansen and a lot of conversation around bullying that people who bully are, uh, they may be in pain and it may be something they're, they're afraid as well. And I also have learned, I made a film about it called The Upstanders, which is a new one, but it really is, you know, people, kids aren't bullies. They display or act out and act like bullies. I think it's important that we really differentiate that because if you say, you are acting like a bully, then there's a little power in there to make that a change. If you are a bully, that pro puts a different kind of programming and label on you. I think bystanders can oftentimes have kind of a PTSD effect because they didn't step up, because they didn't do something. I think um, bullying is not just in schools, it's at work too. It just doesn't like go away when you turn 18 or go to college. Sure. Um, Schools need to have a system-wide plan. Parents need to talk to their kids about it. And they need to, you need to check in with your kids. It's hard to know when a kid is being bullied. It's not like the old days where you could see it. It was physical, a torn shirt, a bloody nose, something torn. It's online and one in, only one in five kids will actually say something because they don't want their phone taken away and they think that the parent will make it worse. So, and it's just words. They feel like they should be able to handle it. But when it's constant, it chips away at you, at your self-esteem. You can start to get, you can start to isolate. It can spread to the point where there's fake, you know, people coming at you. They can take screenshots. Like it just doesn't go away. You can't outrun it. You can't take away the phone. And that isolation can lead to anxiety and depression. So it's really important that we talk about it. And that if you see something, say something and go find help and, I think at the end of the day, we need to let people know that they matter. Smiling at someone, saying hi. You don't have to go be best friends with them, but we need to acknowledge each other.